Hello guys, um, Roblox is down currently, so I'm playing this as a side game. Tubers93 is apparently hacked Meep City, Draw It, and those are all the games that he's hacked so far. He is back, and the real Tubers93 account got banned. Now, what we're going to talk about is basically who this Tubers93 could be guy is and why he's hacking people so he's already had those two games i was talking about before meep city and draw it the both the owners had to shut down their games meep city had to remove their party feature because it was already inappropriate in the first place now let's kick things up a notch by searching who tubers 93 could possibly be now, let's go to Google. And search Tubers93. And Tubers93 Roblox Hackers Wiki fandom. And so, Wikipedia. Now, we're searching it right now. Tubers93. Join date September 22nd, 2018. He's hacked Meep City. Jailbreak. Arsenal. Little Angels, Daycare, Little Angels, Daycare, Koala Cafe, and many others. Ty player type hacker, skin color white, and it has all this information about him. Now we need the description. You really thought you could escape Tubers93. Okay. Tubers93 was a Roblox hacker known to hack Meep City once in October 2019 and again in February 2020 and a third time in November 2021, which was actually really recent, four months ago or five months ago. He was confirmed to work with Mum ODC on a few of his attacks in, on Meep City. Mum, Mum Odak, suspected to be one times, one times, one times one, which is another hacker, and Google, which is another hacker, team tech in Meep City in November 2021, although not confirmed. And to be part of the Roblox community, saw Modak and Tubers93 rocking on Discord before they, um, talking in the private chat. On February 22, 2022, there's a new rumor that managed to access the HD admin model, which is... Obviously, something else in the Roblox game. I can't open it because uh, Roblox isn't loading for me because it's down for everyone. Um, he managed to access the HE admin panel through a backdoor in the logo he made the, the made by the error for by a popular YouTuber named Creekcraft. He basically exposed. A couple of years after termination, he recently returned to Roblox, considered the same name that Jenna was supposed to hack the Roblox girls. However, Jenna is not a hacker, just rumored. In 293, first beard and creep craft stream where he hacked Jenna's game. If you check his profile, his bio reads, this is an SMG talk, copy your should copy my name and said, there, I'm going to get you banned, and, and if you won't let you laugh, I'll well, well, fall to P, fall me to PM me. Now, I have the video right here. That has Creekcraft explaining everything. Tune in right now. Oh wait, let me rewind it. By the volume turned down. Let's turn it up. Here it is. Okay, guys, it actually happened. Yesterday on live stream, I was actually able to talk to the Tubers93 hacker. We did some digging on the dude, and he actually revealed how he's been hacking all. Now he is possibly this couldn't this might be the real one. We're not sure yet these games which speaking of hacking games he actually took down find the markers yesterday yeah he hacked find the markers and the developer had to shut down the game it was that bad so in this video we're going to be deep diving straight into tubers 93 we're going to try to figure out who he is and how he hacks all of these games before we begin though if you're new to the channel go ahead do me a huge favor hit that subscribe button you have five seconds to subscribe or else tubers 93 will be under your bed tonight is copyright but make sure to subscribe to creekcraft all the rights go to creekcraft so yeah okay so if you've been living under a rock for the past few weeks tubers 93 is a real roblox hacker he's actually hacked games before including meep city numerous times and well over the past few weeks he's actually been hacking a lot of the roblox games that we've been playing on stream last week he somehow found a back door into the roblox Jenna game and was able to hack that next up he was somehow able to get into the find the logo game he hacked that one and then a few days ago he also hacked meep city once again deleting all my money in the game and replacing my avatar with the tubers 93 avatar and we'll 
Well, yesterday he took it to another level because he actually hacked find the markers. The dev of the game even had to shut it down for a little bit just so we could figure out how to get Tubers 93 out. Now, the first thing we need to do is figure out who exactly is this Tubers 93. Now, the reason why I say that is because the original Tubers 93 account was actually banned off of Roblox. According to the wiki, the only known official Tubers 93 account is actually this one here, which actually, for the record, was online yesterday, so maybe it is him. The identity of this hacker gets a little bit weird, though, because we have this account here with actually quite a bit of followers that was made back in 2020 that also claims to be him, and then we have the hacker himself claiming that all the other ones are fake and he's the only real one. So is this the real Tubers93? Is this another Roblox hacker pretending to be Tubers93 in order to maybe hide his real identity or something? Well, unfortunately, it's hard to know, and at this point, Tubers93 could be literally anybody. Might even be those weird slenders from Meep City. Regardless of who he is, though, yesterday, things got real. During our live stream, we were once again playing Guess the Logo when he hacked into the game. He backdoored into the game, and we actually started having a conversation back and forth. I asked him, what's the biggest Roblox game that he can just hack out of the blue? And well, that's when he told us to actually hop into Find the Markers. So we hopped into the game, and about a minute after we joined the game, he managed to get in and hack all the servers. I don't mean just the server I was on. I mean literally every single server. You guys sent me screenshots. Text was popping up all over the place. Hello, 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 hello. Maybe I'm wrong, but it doesn't look like this game actually has an HD admin panel, which is how I believed he's been getting into these games and backdooring into them, but apparently he's getting in some other way. The devs actually said they don't use any admin command plugins. They don't use free models. This is what they said. Can you tell Creek that the Find the Markers dev said that the only free model that was in the game was the Adonis admin? The only free model is the Adonis admin commands. We don't have HD admin in this game. Now, the dev actually brought the game back up about 30 minutes later and I assume he figured out the problem but I guess only time will tell. Now right after that I actually asked Tubers93 directly. I asked him how in the world do you keep getting into all of these games? Because these are pretty big Roblox games and they're also pretty recent ones too. Find the Markers was literally just made last year. It's not like it's some 10 year old Roblox game with a bunch of outdated security methods and models. And well he actually told us, he, he hacked the game to tell us how he was hacking the game. This is what he said. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I don't understand any of this. He said, I generally use a meta table based OOP approach, but not usually with particularly deep or plentiful use of inheritance. Most stuff is composed, and I tend to inject references down the hierarchy that ultimately starts from a script or local script loader. And then it all just kind of turned into sans talking in my head. <laughs> Hopefully if you're a Roblox dev though, you do understand that and you can use that to try and, you know, make your game unhackable. I actually was able to talk to another Roblox dev, Mr. Derpy here. He is the creator of the Lost Book, the Piggy Fan game. And he basically said if it's not free models, if it's not like some sort of infected plugin that all these games are using, then the only other method is this guy is somehow able to inject code into the game. Basically inject his own scripts that allow him to, well, take over the server, put messages on the screen, kick people out, play noise is all of that stuff. And unfortunately, that's where my expertise ends because I don't know anything about that. So this is kind of where we leave off with Tubers93 for now. And how and how we find out who he is, everything else about him. We don't know anything else about him right for now, but keep staying tuned to my channel for more updates about Tubers93 because I'll be giving a lot more information about him in the future. Once we can get, uh, once we can get more information about him, because right now we don't have enough information to confront him and get him banned. Roblox can just ban him, but he can just make new accounts and keep hacking, and it doesn't matter how many times Roblox bans the accounts to, and he can just come back on a new account, he can just keep doing that. Um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. On this video and subscribe. Tubers93, if you're watching this, please stop hacking people. We're begging you here. All these innocent people on Roblox are just suffering and they are just really sad that you're hacking. But I'm not, this isn't hate. I'm just trying to tell you not everyone likes hackers and not everyone likes when people hack the game. If you like, if you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, share if you can. Her goal is a thousand by the end of March. I'm not sure if we can reach that, but I hope you guys have a good day, and bye.